Be sure to follow my Instagram, marspeed underscore official. It's a good place for more car content, and I'll answer all your questions and DMs there. The Dodge Challenger has evolved ever since the Challenger 500 was released in 2008, and now that the 2018 Challengers are being sold across North America, let's look at what's new for this car from last year. All of these changes are for the American Dodge Challengers only, Canada might be a little bit different, and I've also done the same with the Dodge Charger as well, so if you want to check that out, make sure to click the video in the top right corner. So some of these models don't have very many differences from last year, but either way we'll be looking at all the models and what they offer. So for 2017 there were 14 Challenger models, 11 of them V8s and 3 of them V6s. 2018 adds 2 extra models, so they're up to 13 V8s and 3 V6s. So there are 3 V6 models as I've just said, which all have the 3.6 liter V6, making 305 horsepower and 268 foot-pound of torque. The first V6 is the base model for 2018, which is the SXT, starting at 26,995. Not much has changed about this, but there are four different types of rims available now, 18-inch satin carbon, 20-inch granite crystal, 20-inch satin carbon, and 20-inch gloss black. One big difference is that the 2018 SXT now comes with a bigger 7-inch Uconnect touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, and you get a rear backup camera standard. The next model up is the SXT Plus. No change in price, still $29,995, but there are some cool added features including a park assist system, Apple CarPlay, and also the option to add a wireless phone charging pad made by Mopar for $350 that's installed near the USB and auxiliary ports. This wireless charging pad is also available on most of the other models up the list as well. The final V6 model is the GT all-wheel drive. This goes up $100 to 33495 and adds two new things. First, there are two sets of wheels available now, the standard 19-inch granite crystal and a new 19-inch double five-spoke design. And secondly, you can add a blacktop package now to the GT. This costs $595 and adds a gloss black grille, satin black spoiler, and satin black gas door, among the other things shown on the screen. Next, we'll make the jump to the 5.7 liter V8 models, and there are six of them. This Hemi makes 375 horsepower and 410 foot-pounds of torque. So the RT is the first V8 model. This is now $500 more for 2018, up to $33,495. And the big selling point for the RT is the addition of uh, the electronically controlled low restriction active exhaust, which sounds a lot better than before. And a leather performance steering wheel is also standard. And there's also the option to add what's called the performance handling group. So for $1,600, this package will add Brembo four piston brakes, Brembo black calipers, Dodge performance pages, heated, cooled, and leather seats, Bill Stein suspension, and paddle shifters. So it seems to be a really good value there. For the RT Plus, the price goes up $500 to 36495 and this again adds the active exhaust and this active exhaust is new for all these RT models uh, it adds new granite crystal wheels and also the optional performance handling group that I've talked about before next is the RT shaker it stays at the same price of 36995 and doesn't really add a whole lot of new stuff except that that optional performance handling package is available for $900 the next model up is the 2018 TA and this costs $100 more at 37495 This model also has the 5.7 liter Hemi, but I couldn't find any differences between the 2017 and 2018 other than that performance handling package option. The next model up is another RT, this time the RT Plus Shaker. This stays at the same 39995 price tag, but adds heated and ventilated Napa leather performance seats with Alcantara suede inserts, adds paddle shifters, and also that optional performance handling package. And model 9 out of 16 is the Challenger TA Plus. This is, a, this is a cool looking car and the best trim available for the 5.7 liter Hemi. But for 2018, there's nothing new other than Dodge charging you $4,495, 300 bucks more than last year. Now we move on to the next few models which all have the more powerful 6.4 liter Hemi, capable of pushing out 485 horsepower and 475 foot-pound of torque. The first of which is going to be the Challenger RT Scat Pack. 
This model gets a price bump of $1,000 from last year, so it now costs $39,995. And the first new feature is that you get a choice of three wheels this year, 20x9 polished aluminum wheels, 20x9.5 wheels from the older Hellcats, and 20x9 Hyper Black Forged wheels. On the interior, houndstooth seats with the uh, Scat Pack logo replaces the standard bucket cloth seats from last year. Next up is the 392 Hemi Scat Pack Shaker. This model went up $700 from 2017 and cost $44,495. The new features for this model in 2018 are with the seats. There is now an optional leather interior package for an extra $16.95. And this will add Napa leather and Alcantara seats, heated and cooled front seats, a heated steering wheel, and mesh interior bezels. The seats in the Scat Pack Shaker will now also come with the Scat Pack logo embroidered in them standard. The Challenger TA392 is next and it goes completely unchanged from 2017. Same price, same features, nothing new, except for that optional leather package. So now let's move on to the SRT models. Last year there were just two, but now there are four. The first one is the SRT392. This went up by $300 to 5495 And there are a few changes to this model. There's now the option of two different wheels, five-spoke black SRT wheels from last year's Hellcat, and SRT brass monkey wheels, the seats also now come standard with the SRT logo on them, and there's the option to add red seat belts for $195. Next up is the famous SRT Hellcat which, with its 6.2 liter supercharged V8, pumping out 707 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. This year's Hellcat is a lot more expensive, $1,300 more than last year, which gives it a price tag of $65,495. There are a couple of differences in the new Hellcat. Firstly, you get an option of black gunmetal or orange Brembo brake calipers for $495. There's also newer badges that say SRT along with the Hellcat logo on the grill and uh, on the rear spoiler. And you can also delete the rear seats now this year for no cost. And this will basically replace the back seats and seat belts with a cargo net back there. Last year, you could get dual carbon stripes for $995 and a satin black painted hood for $1995. And now you can also add dual gunmetal center stripes for $995 as well. Another addition is that you can also add demonic red seats on the interior for $250. Now the last two models are both new for this year. The first one is the SRT Hellcat Widebody, which starts at $71,495. And it has all the Hellcat additions I just talked about, but also adds some new ones. So with this upgraded Hellcat, you get 20 by 11 Devil's Rim wheels on 305, 35, 20 Pirelli performance tires. Wide body fender flares that add 3.5 inches to the overall width. Electronic power steering with driver selectable steering tuning with street, sport, and track modes. And also the Hellcat wide body goes 0.1 seconds faster 0 to 60 and 0.3 seconds faster to the quarter mile than the regular Hellcat. And of course looks visually better as well as it is quite wider. Finally, the last new model is the Crazy Dodge Demon which starts at 84995 they are probably close to being sold out though, seeing as only 3,000 are made for the US and another 300 for Canada. This car has a long list of achievements. It is the world's fastest quarter mile in 0-60 to 60 production car, the first ever factory production car to achieve a front wheel lift at launch, meaning the car can do a wheelie, fastest production car from 1 to 100 miles per hour, highest g-force by a production car, and the most powerful V8 engine ever produced. There's no manual option for the Demon like all the other Challenger models, and the car comes with no passenger or back seats, but they can be added for just a dollar each. You can also add a painted black satin graphics package for $34.95, which paints the hood, roof, and trunk black, or just a painted satin black hood for $19.95. The Demon comes with ultra-lightweight 18-inch wheels and Nitto NT05R sticky drag radials that are 315-40R18 in size. And the Demon has 808 horsepower and 717 foot-pounds of torque from the same 6.2 liter engine as the Hellcat, but the difference is that this engine has a much bigger 2.7 liter supercharger. You can also bump that up to 840 horsepower and 770 foot-pounds of torque by getting a Demon crate and using 100 octane race fuel. The Demon also comes in two colors that you cannot get on any other model for the Challengers, B5 Blue and Plum Crazy for an extra $70. And the last thing I want to look at is the new colors. So Dodge has got rid of three colors from last year, Contusion Blue, Red Line, and Go Green. And they're adding two new colors, FA Green and Indigo Blue. Overall, there are 12 colors as shown on screen, including Go Mango, Yellow Jacket, and Destroyer Gray.
So here's a quick summary of all the differences this year. And as far as I know, these are all the new changes for the Dodge Challenger in the 2018 model year. Let me know what you think, and if you know any of the new updates that I might have missed. Thanks for watching, it will definitely be exciting to see these new 2018 Challengers on the road, and I'll see you guys next video. Make sure to subscribe for more Mopar and car content. Through the wastelands, through the